everyone. It's Denise at Salvaged Inspirations and thanks for joining me today. Today I have a really good tutorial on how to fix your furniture with Bondo. I love using Bondo when it's a more heavy duty repair such as fixing veneer, filling hardware holes, a big chunk missing, etc. But you can also use it as you would a wood filler. So just let me get set up and I'll be right back. Bondo can be found at any hardware store or building supply store and it typically sells for between $12 and $30 depending on what type you buy. Uh, you can purchase a auto body which is the least expensive, an all purpose which is the one that I like to use or a specific wood Bondo. Um, I would say save your money, I haven't noticed any difference in the wood Bondo to the all purpose but that's just my opinion. Bondo is solvent based so good ventilation is required while using it and it will require good mixing before getting started. It is a two part system. It comes with a hardener along with the putty and here I am mixing the two using a couple of inexpensive putty knives. The reason why I'm in love with using Bondo for furniture repair is its speed. It works fast but that means I have to work fast because I typically have about two to three minutes before it is going to harden after I add the hardener. I also work in small batches because I don't want to waste the product. So I'll use about a golf sized portion of Bondo and then I'll add a pea sized uh, portion of hardener. I added way too much. <laughs> I added way too much and you're going to see what's hap going to happen uh, because it hardens within minutes, seriously. So I, I'm mixing it up here, but this is what you get when you add too much hardener. It's not workable at all. So take two. Okay, I added a golf-sized portion of Bondo along with a pea-sized portion of the hardener and gave it a good mixing. Here I am filling in the hardware holes with the Bondo. I'm not overly particular. Uh, I like filling in the hardware holes so the Bondo is slightly above the level of the wood and that way it equals uh, easy sanding and it comes out super smooth when it's sanded down, just as you would with wood filler. I also don't worry about overfilling. Uh, when you overfill, you end up with a bunch of Bondo at the other side of the drawer you have this little nub of Bondo but stick with me and I'll show you how to easily get rid of that and even that out on the back side of your drawer. After I fixed all the drawers and filled in the hardware holes I moved on to the top and I started patching in all the little gouges and scratches that this dresser top had. Once I finished with the dresser top I moved on to fixing the veneer. As you can see here, there's been some water damage. I could glue this down, but what I'm gonna do is just fill it in. Take this off so it doesn't have to be glued down at all. Anything that's not sticking properly. And we're gonna repair this. So we'll fill this in with Bondo All-Purpose Putty. So I mixed up a nice fresh batch of Bondo and hardener and here I am filling in the missing veneer. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. You just fill it in making sure that you add a little additional Bondo uh, so it can sand smooth. So you want to overfill the gap just slightly. Smooth it out as best you can and that will save you a lot of sanding. But again, there's really no right and wrong way of doing this. The sander will do the work for you when you start smoothing it out. Here's what it looks like after I filled it in. I left a small portion unfilled so you can see what a second coat will look like. After about 10 to 15 minutes, your Bondo will be rock hard and totally dry and it will be ready to sand. Here I'm using my DeWalt Orbital Sander with a 120 grit sandpaper to sand the Bondo smooth, flush with the wood. I do the exact same thing with the top and also the side where we repaired the veneer. After all the bond 
Fondo is sanded perfectly flush with the wood. I use a tack cloth and remove all the dust and then I prime. You don't have to wait until you prime before you put on a second coat. I just find that when I prime, I see every single nook and cranny that needs a second coat. I mixed up a fresh batch of Bondo, and here you'll notice I'm using a plastic putty knife to fill in the holes. I just wanted to show you that plastic and or metal both work very well. So as you can see for the second coat, it's exactly the same steps. You mix your Bondo, you apply it, you sand it, and then you prime. Once the prime is on, you're all set and ready for paint. So here's a little tip and trick. If you overfill your hardware holes, friends nice and smooth, but if you overfill your hardware holes on the back end, I never worry about it because here's just a little tip that I do. Take an average little putty knife or scraper, put it against there, take a hammer, and there you go. And you have a nice smooth finish, perfectly smooth. Here's the before and after. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, feel free to give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'd love to see you over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 400 do-it-yourself furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Until next time, I hope you take care, be safe, and have a super day. See you soon.